What is up guys? It is the day I have been waiting for for so long. Um, today we're going to be removing the intake, uh, the intake manifold right here on top. Um, and basically what we're going to do when we do that is I'm going to go ahead and pull the fuel injectors, which I think are not working for me, which is why my car isn't working. So let's go ahead and do that. And you may notice I took off this little nameplate right here. And that's because these bolts in here, and there we go, right in there, those are what holds this down. And those are notorious for getting stuck. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go ahead and, or the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab some WD-40 or another penetrating fluid. And we're going to go ahead and soak the middle of those, soak them all down there, um, just so that we can get it nice and ready to come off. All right, so in order to get the intake manifold off, there's actually a lot of things we're going to have to do. We're going to go ahead and disconnect all the wiring harnesses on the side and everything. Um, but the first thing that I wanted to tackle, because I've never done before, was the throttle body. So if we're going to be taking this entire piece off right here, we can't have these lines holding it. And so as you can see, oops, sorry about that. Oops. Right, there we go. As you can see, I've taken these two off. So basically for the cruise control, if you have it, there's a nut. Focus. You've got a nut and then a lock washer and then this little tab kind of thing that sits there. And then these two, um, I'll show you where they go, and then this spring and this little thing. So basically, what we're doing to take those off, I was going to undo, these are where the two bolts came from, um, just holding these two on top of here. And so you got that end nut that sits on there. And then you have that plastic and that and the spring. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to unhook the spring from the little piece um, on this. We're going to unhook it from there. And then it's going to spin around and then we're going to be able to slide it off. That plastic piece and the spring come together. Um, and then we'll be able to take this. Now what we're going to do for this main throttle is we're going to pull this all the way up and then just unhook the cable. It hooks in right down there. Um, so we're going to unhook it from there. And now this is completely free. So we'll be able to go ahead and take off our intake manifold now. So now what we have is we're going to go ahead and probably tackle the wiring harnesses next on that side. And then this one's on this side. Um, actually, that one broke already. Um, there used to be a zip tie that held this down. So that one's good for us. Um, we got one here. We got a tie back there. Um, we got some on the other side. Um, we got a few of these hoses on the front and this fuel rail that we're going to deal with. Um, and then we'll see what happens after that. Alright, so the next thing that I did is I actually removed this piece of uh, intake right here. Um, so it had these couple hoses on it, which are going to get in the way of getting the throttle body out and off. Um, so I undid that. Um, and you can see there's our throttle body in there. Um, so that's just another piece. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take the wiring harness off of this side. And then this side should be good, other than this hose right here and this TPMS sensor right there. Alright guys, well I kind of got bored of... Uh trying to find every single little hose that I had to take off. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you it. As you can see, the intake manifold is gone right now. Um, it is over here. And this is what it looks like, uh, minus the duct tape and magnets over the holes. So over here is our throttle body, and we have this metal tube that runs around. Um, and that's important because there are a couple little hoses that go to the throttle body like this um, that you may think you have to take off, and you don't actually. Um, so that's a good part of knowing that. So basically, um, you have to take off, this is the um, positive, kink, positive crank case ventilation one for this side, basically it goes back in. Um, the other side is this one right here. Um, we've got this for the brake booster. Um, this is another vacuum line, I have no idea what it is. And then we've got this one under here that went to the bottom of the throttle body. Let me focus on that. Right here. It went to the bottom of the throttle body. Um, and then we have this one on the other side. It was just like that. Um, so basically what I had to do for that one is I had to remove, this is the idle air control, it's not the idle air control, sorry. Uh, I believe it's called the cold start injector. Uh, basically it lets more air through when, you're, when it's cold so it'll idle a bit faster and warm up quicker. Um, so that's what that does. Um, so I had to actually remove that. Um, I also removed this piece right here. Um, I believe it's some sort of exhaust scavenging piece. Basically, it sits 
right back here, and it's connected to this, not right here. Sorry, there we go. And so what I had to do with that, I sprayed it with tons of WD-40, um, and then I got this wrench stuck it on it. Um, it's about an inch, I think that's what it was. I had the biggest 18 millimeter and it wouldn't fit, um, but I got this, it says it's about an inch, or what is this, 20, almost 27 millimeters. So it was a big nut. Um, and uh, I just sprayed it with a bunch of WD-40, and then got this, and got a hammer, and started just whacking it and trying to get it off. It finally came off. Um, and that's pretty much all you need to do. There's a couple vacuum lines up here that you need to take off. There's a ground on each side. Um, there's one here, and then there was one right under there. Another, oops, right there. Another ground right there. Um, that's pretty much it. There's not a lot of electrical that you have to take off. Um, you got the idle air control over right here. So you got idle air control as well as a throttle body. This is the idle air control, sorry, and that's the throttle uh, position sensor. Those are the only two on that side, and I don't think there were any on this side. Oh, this one went to the exhaust scavenging system, so that one's one. Um, I think that is it, actually. Um, other than that, I don't see anything. This was to... This went to the exhaust, this went to the uh, cold start. Um, so that's pretty much it. So basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and take out this fuel rail and pop out all these injectors. And as you can see what I've kind of done over here, I've made a list of kind of what I've taken off the nuts and bolts and everything for it. Um, I'm going to get another piece of paper and pretty much do the exact same thing for the injectors and label them cylinders one through six. Um, just because I don't want to mess them up, I want to keep them in the exact same injectors that they were in originally. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pull those out and I'm going to prepare them. And then in my next video, I'm going to show you guys how to clean the injectors. Um, so that's that for now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull those out and we will see what we get. Something to mention real quick, guys. Um, I showed you the four bolts on top. There's actually one more right under there. You can see at the end of that card. Um, so there's a total of five holding the intake on. These ones right here. There's four long ones that are on the main... Uh, under the cover right here and then this one on the end that I just showed you and also guys WD-40 really is your friend so much when you're doing this um, a lot of these hoses are really old and so you don't want to break them um, so what I did is I would just get a flat blade screwdriver kind of pry the lip a little bit and then spray WD-40 in and see if I could wiggle this around um, oops there we go wiggle it around a little bit um, and basically that would just make it make the hoses slide off um, if you may have seen on this one, it's got this weird silver type tape on it. Um, that's because I actually cracked those hoses, and so that's a insulation tape to see if I can seal it up. Um, so I cracked that one a while ago, actually. Um, so I was trying not to do that. I luckily didn't actually do that with any of these other ones. Um, but you want to be careful. This hose right here, it goes from like a half inch to three quarters inch. It's, it's I don't think you can find it new, and to buy it used is like eighty dollars or something. Um, and then it's still used. Oops, sorry, there we go. That one right there. Um, so be careful when you're doing this. Um, I didn't want to break anything. Um, I'm sure you guys don't want to either. So yeah, just be careful. All right, so in order to get the fuel rail out, what I did is I went ahead and unbolted the fuel pressure regulator under here. Under, let's see if we can, it's under there. There's two bolts, mine only had one for some reason. Whatever, um, and then you may notice that the fuel rail is connected back here, this piece of rubber. Um, I just cut that. I'm going to be putting a new piece on. Um, I'm going to be seeing if I can do all of the pieces of a uh, fuel hose just because I want to make them all better now. Um, so I went ahead and cut that and split that open. Now the second to last thing that we have to do is each of these have bolts. I already have done them. Take them out. They're just 10 millimeters. Um, one on each. It's pretty easy. And then the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to unclip these injector uh, harnesses. They have one of those little metal clips around them, and then that pops right off. Alright, so now I've gotten the bolts and the uh, clips for each of these harnesses off, and as you can see, what I've done is I've duct put a little duct tape on them, put 246 and then 135 on that side, um, just in case. You definitely don't want to mess up the firing order, else it won't run. Um, but once those are off, you can just unclip them. And voila, we are ready to pull the injectors out of here.
Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. That's how to remove your intake. Um, remember, if you have any questions, go ahead and just leave them down below. Um, thanks again for watching guys, and see you later.